Well, which is what we have to talk about. What we've decided to do this afternoon it is to talk about ball control, to play fast, but to play well in any situation. Now you have to throw your ball above the shoulder, catch it in front of you uh, on the sagittal line and open up your space and throw it at uh, on the line of the shoulders. Reopen the space and then the central players will move around afterwards. Is it okay? What's very important is that the ball has to be going up and look for it ahead of you so that afterwards you can throw, you can pass the ball. Okay, ready, go. And what you want is good quality in your ball transmission and always keep your ball above shoulder level. Come on, come on, you have to go faster, including the goalkeepers. Try to go faster. Keep going, keep going. Go faster. We need more pace. The ball is in the side player. So, once again, we're going to give the ball, you then cross, and then the side player has to make himself available to receive the, the ball on the other side. There you go, on the other side. Okay. Go. Go, go, go. Okay, faster, faster, come on. Ready? Go. Come on. Keep playing. You receive the ball. Keep your balance. Side players or line players should be available. Keep going. Okay. Okay. Are in the middle. Help by the two players in the middle. So you pass the ball like that. At the same time, suspension, you jump suspension and you l drop the ball or you throw the ball to the side. You come back to your initial spot and in the meantime, line players, you get the ball and you pass it under your leg like this and you grab it up in the air and you continue. Okay? So you need to keep control of the ball and without being disrupted or disturbed. Go. Go. Try to accelerate and the ball has to be thrown forward. Okay, and that's how you can build your speed. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Now, side players, you're in the middle. Middle players, you are um, playing on the wing. Okay. Ready? Go. Go ahead.
Ok, 4 ballons pour 4. Perfect. Donc, double échange croisé des joueurs centraux. Ok, so once again, you throw balls at each other in the middle. Um, you do the same between with the two players, uh, the one in the middle and the one on the, uh, the, the line. Go back to the center and we continue. So this is a combination of speed, throws, change of status, different rules. Okay, and all this while making progress to the, to, towards uh, the goal. And when you cross each other, ball, the ball goes over the shoulder. You don't want the ball to be below your shoulder level. Keep it above shoulder level. This is how you stay in control. Come on, faster. You have to progress to the goal and of course you have to stick to the three-step rule. So this is a complex situation and this is all about recovering and keeping control. Okay, you want to make the right move at the right moment in spite of the difficult situation you're in. There you go. Keep your speed up. Okay, now let's move on to the final uh, situation uh, for matricity. Once again, this time we're, we're going to have less time for switching with the other player. This time it's all about speed. So once again, you throw the ball at each other, then you move to the side, side players, you go back to the middle, and after that, it's exactly the same thing as before. If you drop a ball, you need to do six crunches. Okay, go. Speed, we need speed. The central player always goes in front. Okay, don't, let's, don't be uh, bothered by the object. It sh the, the object should not be a problem. Okay, go. Les passes là-haut, les passes là-haut, Baptiste. Les passes là-haut, les passes là-haut, les passes là-haut. Vite, il y a de la vitesse. Théo, plus vite. Come on, we need speed, speed. Matthew, you're in front. There you go. Okay, boisson. Donc la proposition des habilités motrices qu'on va développer de okay. perception. Okay, so on a we're going to work on perception again, perception motricity. So this is, the purpose here is to see how we can use the pivot, 